Good morning, Grade 8 learners! Welcome to another episode of Balansala Facebook Live Science E, where learning is fun with Sir JC Guzman. Before we start our discussion, make sure that you have cleaned your area of responsibility and you have prepared these things with you. isotope of carbon is carbon-12, which is commonly used as fuel in the form of coal, graphite used in pencils, diamonds, and many more. While carbon-14 is a radioactive isotope of carbon and commonly used in radiocarbon dating, a method for determining the age of an object containing organic material. In other words, Isotopes are different versions of the atom of the same element. Hydrogen has also three isotopes, namely protium, deuterium, and tritium. Protium or hydrogen has one proton, but it doesn't have neutrons. Deuterium has one proton and one neutron, 
while tritium has one proton and two neutrons. As you have noticed, their protons are still the same. It's just the number of neutrons that change, which also leads to the change in the mass number of an atom. On the other hand, if the number of proton and electron in an atom is the same, then it will have a positive or negative charge, respectively. And that is what we call ion. Each atom has the capability to lose or gain charges or remain neutral. If an atom gains an electron, the atom will be negatively charged and is called an ion. If an atom loses or gives up one or more of its electrons, they become more positive and is called cation. For example, sodium-11 has 11 protons and 11 electrons. During chemical bonding with other elements, a charge is needed, that is why sodium, as a metal element, needs to lose its valence electron. The valence electron is the electron located on the outer shell of an atom, and it can also be determined by its group number seen on the periodic table of elements. Since sodium-11 has one electron on the outer shell, this electron is being removed, which makes a positive one charge on it. Another example is Cl17 or chlorine 17. Chlorine has 17 protons and 17 electrons on it. Since chlorine is a non-metal type of element, it loves to receive electrons. But the question is, how much electrons will it be able to receive? Again, let's take a look on the valence electron of chlorine, which is 7. Following the octet rule, the maximum number per shell is 8 electrons, meaning to say that the chlorine needs to gain one more electron to complete the number of electrons on its outer shell and become stable. Chlorine already gained an electron and is now a charged atom. But the question is, what will be its charge? Very good. The answer is negative 1 because it receives one negatively charged particle, or what we call the electron. The removed electron in sodium and the received electron by chlorine is an example of stable compound known as sodium chloride, NaCl, or also known as stable salt. To sum it up, atoms, ions, and isotopes differs with the number of their subatomic particles. Atoms have the same number of protons and electrons. Ions differs on the number of protons and electrons. While isotopes are atoms of the same element that contains equal number of protons but different number of neutrons in their nuclei. I hope that you've learned something this morning. And we'll see each other again on the next few episodes of Valenzuela FD Live in Science. You stay put for some assessment by Sai, our virtual self-check instructor to test your journey. Bonumani!